guys excuse the hair um i'm making an effort to try and vlog off to my end of summer trip to barcelona to see my sister and i thought it would be nice to take you guys along with me see what i get up to got enough time to sit and relax read a book have a bite to eat yada 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 i'll see you guys on the other side second full day in the lovely city of Barcelona um, currently just walking to a fabric shop um, I'm in the area Gracia um, and I just did a little Google search of where some fabric shops are um, I've been to one so far that was sort of on the higher end which I'll probably share with you guys in this vlog um, and I'm now on my way to a second one called Donna um and i shall share with you guys what that one is like when i get there um but yeah i'm just quite conscious that i haven't spoken much god willing this will be my first vlog <laughs> and it will be one that's half decent for me to share with you guys um but yeah just wanted to check in um and i will 
put back in once I'm in Donna fabric shop. So I'll catch you all soon. Today I am going to a market, I think it's like a flea market, but they sell fabric there, um, something I came across on YouTube and it's not too far from my sister, it's maybe about a 20 minute walk. And so I'm going to walk down there and check the market out and hopefully today's a success. Um, as yesterday when I left off and told you guys I was walking to a fabric shop, I got there and there was no fabric shop. I don't know where it was, um, I was at the right location. <laughs> as it's shown on Google Maps, but um, yeah, there was no fabric shop. So hopefully, fingers crossed, today is a, success, um, a successful fabric shopping trip. So yeah. Okay. Oh guys, it's such a nice day today. It's 28 degrees. Hopefully I won't melt. <laughs> Tienes 3 metros 1 euro, tienes 50, tienes de 8.
the market and wow it was cannot lie slightly overwhelming there was so much there was loads of fabric i was seeing one euro two euros um and i know sometimes it's easy to go crazy when you're seeing those sorts of prizes but that's more when i sort of hold back and not go so crazy and try to actually think about what it is i want to get and not just buy for the sake of buying um i came out i brought three three different types of fabrics well not different types i got two mesh guys you know i've been loving this year moments lately um but i got three different types of fabrics um, and in total, I spent maybe just over 10 euros. So now I'm leaving there and I am heading to Westfield. I go and have something to eat and yeah, I'm hungry now. So it's food time. And then my sister should be coming to meet me and she wants to go and do a bit of shopping in Ikea. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. But so far, fabric shopping has been successful today.
guys, I hope you can hear me. Day two of fabric shopping. Didn't pick up much because I remembered I have limited luggage. <laughs> so I have to be able to fit whatever I buy in my suitcase. I'll probably head to Zara. guys I made it here but there it is Casa Felix it's closed um, I think here they close like at 2 p.m. and reopen at 4 but I was hoping it would still be open because it's a Saturday but as you can see it's closed so yeah it's time for me to head back now time for me to head back that's probably a sign that I don't need to do any more shopping. <laughs> I've done enough. Um, I really enjoyed my stay here. Came on Tuesday, today's Saturday. Got a nighttime flight. Um, I've enjoyed every second of it. All I wanted to do was chill, eat good food, and just relax. Um, and obviously shop for fabrics. And that's exactly what I've done. Love that my sister's here. Um, and I can just come and chill and go off and do my own thing, which is what I've done this time. This is the first time I've come by myself um, and I really enjoyed it. I could see myself living in a country like this. And there's lots to do and the sun shines every day. I mean, they do have winter um, where it gets slightly chilly, but the sun shines more or less every day and it doesn't rain very much either. It's not too far for me to visit home or where I come from back in the UK. It's what, a two hour flight? So yeah, I, I love it here. <laughs> um, and I will be trying to come back again very soon if my sister will have me. <laughs> Guys, I just finished filming my sewing goals and sewing plans for 2024 video and I remembered that I didn't actually share the fabrics that I brought at the end of the video. So I'm going to do it now. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just jumped right into it. Um, the first fabric that I managed to pick up and I was very limited in what I could buy, guys, because I only had a limited amount of luggage. I just had uh, a handbag and a carry-on suitcase, so I couldn't really pick up too much but I visited Reeves and Casals on my last day where I was able to pick up this gorgeous red ribbed knitted fabric and guys I paid six euros for this um they had a remnant table where they had a lot of fabrics cutoffs that were reduced in price and I seen this and couldn't resist it I knew winter was coming very fast after August and I also new red was sort of trending towards the end of last year and I wanted to give it a go as I said in my last video red was a color I wanted to try um, or a trend I wanted to try and that was why I picked up this rib knitted fabric obviously I've not yet made anything with it there's one and a half meters there six euros is about five five pounds or five pounds something um I don't think there's much difference in the pound and the euro um, but yeah, not yet managed to make anything with this and I'm not sure I will before our current winter season ends, but was really pleased with this fabric. Everything else I'm about to show you, I picked up in the flea market and I've never been to a flea market before, so I didn't know what to expect. Um, and I didn't really have any expectations, but from the Google reviews, I knew there was a lot of fabric there. So on, um entering I was overwhelmed and very surprised by just how much things other than fabric was in this market. I was even creeped out by some of the stuff which I think I showed you um, in the vlog. 
and it was nice because it was only about a 20 minute walk from my sister's and then they have the Glories Westfield shopping centre about five minutes from the market. So it's definitely a great place to visit. And the first one that caught my eye was this sort of striped mesh fabric. It was the colours that drew me in. Not usually colours I would go for, but in the spirit of stepping out of my comfort zone, this caught my eye. And I think I only paid about two euros for two metres. I didn't get around to sewing anything. I did wash this. Um, I can smell <laughs> that I did wash it because I was planning to sew something last year but I didn't get round to it but yeah this gorgeous striped coloured fabric I was really enjoying sewing with mesh last year as you guys know I did make a couple of mesh um, tops the next fabric I picked up was this off-white cotton drill fabric um, I'm not sure if you can see that. You can tell it's sort of a dr drill from the diagonal lines. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of making a blazer. When I seen this fabric, I thought immediately of a blazer. I think I mentioned in my style mix series over on Instagram that I wanted to make blazers. And one of the colors I wanted to sew was an off-white one. And again, it's something I haven't got around to doing. The last fabric I picked up, I couldn't believe I found this fabric at a flea market in Barcelona. Um, I had to do a Google search when I seen it to check that it was genuine, but it's this Tommy Hill figure, um, sorry, Tommy Jeans um, mesh zebra print fabric. I couldn't believe my eyes when I seen this, guys. I couldn't believe it. Um, and I will pop pictures on the screen so you can see that it is genuine and the outfit that the model is wearing. But yeah, this was the last um, and final fabric I picked up. I think I picked up three meters of this. You can also tell that the quality of it is a lot better um, than the fabric, the mesh fabric that I just showed you. Um, but yeah, and this is why I say it's definitely worth the visit if you go to the market because I found a treasure here um, in this Tommy Jeans fabric. If you're ever in Barcelona, I would definitely say Reeves and Casals is worth the visit. Um, you've got about four different fabric shops on that strip alone, so a lot to look at. And definitely the market is worth a visit, especially if you're somebody who likes secondhand shopping. You'll have lots of fun. There's lots to look at there. They also have a cafe. I think there's about three floors um, of stuff. Um, from homeware stuff to sewing stuff to um, yeah it's just a lot of stuff guys um, and you would have already seen some of the stuff that they have there from looking from from watching the vlog but definitely worth the visit um, and yeah that was my little fabric haul from Barcelona if you've made it this far in the video guys Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.